What struck me wasn't the truck, it was the actual bodies and bike parts that were being pushed up from behind into me. Victims of a major crash involving a group of cyclists recalling the horrific moment for the first time. I blacked out. I mean, I know something hit me from behind. I was flying through the air. It was like I was in a dream. Um, I guess I hit my head pretty hard. I probably was unconscious. I could hear voices. I could hear moaning. I could hear you know, some bad stuff going on, but I just thought it was a, a dream, a bad dream. Saturday, 26-year-old Pedro Quintana crashed his truck into a group of cyclists, killing two and hurting 17 others. When I got there, there was bodies everywhere. Today, families of the victims and survivors calling for justice and remembering their loved ones. Oh. One of those victims, longtime Goodyear resident and retired math teacher, 61-year-old Karen Melissa. I could hear her back there because you can always hear Karen. And, um, you know, all of a sudden he's like, and then I wasn't, then I was like on the side of the road, you know, up against the side of the bridge and she wasn't there anymore. Her longtime friend and survivor of the crash, Cheryl Herzog, says life will be hard without her. Everybody will remember Karen. She's she is always laughing and she does she has a big personality. Melissa's family, too heartbroken to appear on camera, tells me that Karen's laugh, smile, and endless energy will be missed by everyone who had the honor of calling her our friend. The second victim was David Caro. He was stopping by from Michigan. One of those visitors that was just here for uh, spring training and heard about the group and decided, hey, I want to ride because I've heard about this group. In court documents, the driver, Quintana Lujan, said his steering wheel locked, causing the crash. Police say they do not believe it was intentional and they are testing for impairment. Quintana Lujan is now facing multiple charges. There are still details that we cannot release that we're still investigating, that it wouldn't be proper for us to release that information. We want to do our due diligence and investigate this properly. Truly a heartbreaking story coming out of Goodyear, really feeling for all of the victims and their families. Speaking of them, there is a GoFundMe link set up already. It's designed to help those who are still battling in the hospital and to cover funeral costs for those who have already passed. And there, uh, additionally, a man uh, told me, a witness rather, that another person was in the car with the driver. Uh, Goodyear police unable to confirm that at this time, but of course, we will keep you updated. Reporting in Goodyear, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family.